Sherry Spanish, Jerez, Z -E theta, is a fortified wine made from white grapes that are grown near the city of Jerez de la Frontera in Andalusia, Spain. Sherry is produced in a variety of styles made primarily from the Palomino grape, ranging from light versions similar to white table wines, such as Manzanilla and Fino, to darker and heavier versions that have been allowed to oxidize as they age in barrel, such as Amontillado and Oloroso. Sweet dessert wines are also made from Pedro Zimenez or Moscatel grapes, and are sometimes blended with Palomino-based sherries. The word, sherry, is an anglicization of Zier's, Jerez. Sherry was previously known as sac, from the Spanish saca, meaning, extraction, from the salera. In Europe, sherry, has protected designation of origin status, and under Spanish law, all wine labeled as, sherry must legally come from the Sherry Triangle, an area in the province of Cadiz between Jerez de la Frontera, Sanlúcar de Barrameda, and El Puerto de Santa Maria. In 1933 the Jerez Denominación de Origin was the first Spanish denomination to be officially recognized in this way, officially named D.O. Jerez Zier's Sherry and sharing the same governing council as D.O. Manzanilla Sanlúcar de Barrameda, after fermentation is complete, the base wines are fortified with grape spirit in order to increase their final alcohol content. Wines classified as suitable for aging as Fino and Manzanilla are fortified until they reach a total alcohol content of 15.5% by volume. As they age in barrel, they develop a layer of floor, a yeast-like growth that helps protect the wine from excessive oxidation. Those wines that are classified to undergo aging as Oloroso are fortified to reach an alcohol content of at least 17%. They do not develop floor and so oxidize slightly as they age, giving them a darker color. Because the fortification takes place after fermentation, most sherries are initially dry, with any sweetness being added later. In contrast, port wine is fortified halfway through its fermentation, which stops the process so that not all of the sugar is turned into alcohol. Wines from different years are aged and blended using a Solera system before bottling, so that bottles of sherry will not usually carry a specific vintage year and can contain a small proportion of very old wine. Sherry is regarded by many wine writers as underappreciated and a neglected wine treasure. History Jerez has been a center of viniculture since winemaking was introduced to Spain by the Phoenicians in 1100 BC. The practice was carried on by the Romans when they took control of Iberia around 200 BC. The Moors conquered the region in AD 711 and introduced distillation, which led to the development of brandy and fortified wine. During the Moorish period, the town was called Sherish, a transliteration of the Arabic Shrish, from which both Sherry and Jerez are derived. Wines similar in style to sherry have traditionally been made in the city of Shiraz in mid-southern Iran, but it is thought unlikely that the name derives from there. Wine production continued through five centuries of Muslim rule. In 966, Al-Hakam II, the second caliph of Córdoba, ordered the destruction of the vineyards, but the inhabitants of Jerez appealed on the grounds that the vineyards also produced raisins to feed the empire's soldiers, and the caliph spared two-thirds of the vineyards. In 1264 Alfonso X of Castile took the city. From this point on, the production of sherry and its export throughout Europe increased significantly. By the end of the 16th century, sherry had a reputation in Europe as the world's finest wine. Christopher Columbus brought sherry on his voyage to the New World and when Ferdinand Magellan prepared to sail around the world in 1519, he spent more on sherry than on weapons. Sherry became very popular in Great Britain, especially after Francis Drake sacked Cadiz in 1587. At that time Cadiz was one of the most important Spanish seaports, and Spain was preparing an armada there to invade England. Among the spoils Drake brought back after destroying the fleet were 2,900 barrels of sherry that had been waiting to be loaded aboard Spanish ships. This helped to popularize sherry in the British Isles, because sherry was a major wine export to the United Kingdom, many English companies and styles developed. Many of the Jerez cellars were founded by British families. In 1894 the Jerez region was devastated by the insect phylloxera. Whereas larger vineyards were replanted with resistant vines, most smaller producers were unable to fight the infestation and abandoned their vineyards entirely. Types 
Fino fine in Spanish is the driest and palest of the traditional varieties of sherry. The wine is aged in barrels under a cap of floor yeast to prevent contact with the air. Manzanilla is an especially light variety of fino sherry made around the port of San Lucar de Barrameda. Manzanilla pasada is a manzanilla that has undergone extended aging or has been partially oxidized, giving a richer, nuttier flavor. Amontillado is a variety of sherry that is first aged under floor and then exposed to oxygen, producing a sherry that is darker than a fino but lighter than an oloroso. Naturally dry, they are sometimes sold lightly to medium sweetened but these can no longer be labeled as amontillado. Oloroso scented in Spanish is a variety of sherry aged oxidatively for a longer time than a fino or amontillado, producing a darker and richer wine. With alcohol levels between 18 and 20 percent, Olorosos are the most alcoholic sherries. Like Amontillado, naturally dry, they are often also sold in sweetened versions called cream sherry first made in the 1860s by blending different sherries, usually including Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez. Palo Cortado is a variety of sherry that is initially aged like an Amontillado, typically for three or four years, but which subsequently develops a character closer to an Oloroso. This either happens by accident when the floor dies, or commonly the floor is killed by fortification or filtration. Jerez dulce sweet cherries are made either by fermenting dried Pedro Jimenez PX or Moscatel grapes, which produces an intensely sweet dark brown or black wine, or by blending sweeter wines or grape must with a drier variety. On the 12th of April 2012, the rules applicable to the sweet and fortified denominations of origin Montilla Morals and Jerez Zers sherry were changed to prohibit banning terms such as rich oloroso, sweet oloroso, and oloroso dulce. Such wines are to be labeled as cream sherry, blend of oloroso, amontillado, or such like. The classification by sweetness is topic <laughs> <laughs> protection of sherry. Spanish producers have registered the names Jerez, Zers, Sherry and will prosecute producers of similar fortified wines from other places using the same name. In 1933, Article 34 of the Spanish Estatuto del Vino wine law established the boundaries of sherry production as the first Spanish wine denomination. Today, sherry's official status is further recognized by wider EU legislation. Sherry must come from the triangular area of the province of Cadiz between Jerez de la Frontera, San Lucar de Barrameda, and El Puerto de Santa Maria. However the name, Sherry, is used as a semi-generic in the United States where it must be labeled with a region of origin such as American Sherry or California Sherry. However such wines cannot be exported to the EU. Australian winemakers now use the term apera instead of Sherry, while Australian consumers still use the term Sherry. As of December 31, 2013 the term apera is now also used by Canadian winemakers. Production Climate The Jerez district has a predictable climate, with approximately 70 days of rainfall and almost 300 days of sun per year. The rain mostly falls between the months of October and May, averaging 600 L per square meter. The summer is dry and hot, with temperatures as high as 40 degrees Celsius 104 degrees Fahrenheit, but winds from the ocean bring moisture to the vineyards in the early morning and the clays in the soil retain water below the surface. The average temperature across the year is approximately 18 degrees Celsius, 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Topic: <inaudible> Soil. There are 3 types of soil in the Jerez district for growing the grapes for sherry. Albariza, the lightest soil, almost white and best for growing Palomino grapes. It is approximately 40% chalk, the rest being a blend of clay and sand. Albariza preserves moisture well during the hot summer months. Bajos, a dark brown soil, 10% chalk with a high clay content. Arenas, a yellowish soil, also 10% chalk but with a high sand content. The Albariza soil is the best for growing the Palomino grape, and by law 40% of the grapes making up a sherry must come from Albariza soil. 
The Bajos and Arenas soil are mostly used for Pedro Jimenez and Moscatel grapes. The benefits of the Albariza soil is that it can reflect sunlight back up to the vine, aiding it in photosynthesis. The nature of the soil is very absorbent and compact so that it can retain and maximize the use of the little rainfall that the Jerez region receives. Grapes <inaudible> 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 Before the phylloxera infestation in 1894, there were estimated to be over 100 varieties of grape used in Spain for the production of sherry, but now there are only three white grapes grown for sherry making. Palomino, the dominant grape used for the dry sherries. Approximately 90% of the grapes grown for sherry are palomino. As varietal table wine, the palomino grape produces a wine of very bland and neutral characteristics. This neutrality is actually what makes Palomino an ideal grape because it is easily enhanced by the sherry winemaking style. Pedro Jimenez, used to produce sweet wines. When harvested these grapes are typically dried in the sun for two days to concentrate their sugars. Moscatel, used similarly to Pedro Jimenez, but it is less common. Sherry style wines made in other countries often use other grape varieties. Fermentation The Palomino grapes are harvested in early September, and pressed lightly to extract the must. The must from the first pressing, the Primera Yema, is used to produce Fino and Manzanilla, the must from the second pressing, the Segunda Yema, will be used for Oloroso, the product of additional pressings is used for lesser wines, distillation, and vinegar. The must is then fermented in stainless steel vats until the end of November, producing a dry white wine with 11-12% alcohol content. Previously, the fermentation and initial aging was done in wood, now it is almost exclusively done in stainless steel, with the exception of one or two high-end wines. Fortification Immediately after fermentation, the wine is sampled and the first classification is performed. The casks are marked with the following symbols according to the potential of the wine. The sherry is fortified using destillado, made by distilling wine, usually from La Mancha. The distilled spirit is first mixed with mature sherry to make a 50-50 blend known as mitted y mitted half and half, and then the mitted y mitted is mixed with the younger sherry to the proper proportions. This two-stage procedure is performed so the strong alcohol will not shock the young sherry and spoil it. Aging The fortified wine is stored in 500-liter casks made of North American oak, which is more porous than French or Spanish oak. The casks, or butts, are filled five-sixths full, leaving the space of two fists. Empty at the top to allow floor to develop on top of the wine. Sherry is then aged in the Solera system where new wine is put into wine barrels at the beginning of a series of three to nine barrels. Periodically, a portion of the wine in a barrel is moved into the next barrel down, using tools called the canoa and rociador sprinkler to move the wine gently and avoid damaging the layer of floor in each barrel. At the end of the series only a portion of the final barrel is bottled and sold. Depending on the type of wine, the portion moved may be between 5 and 30 percent of each barrel. This process is called running the scales because each barrel in the series is called a scale. Thus, the age of the youngest wine going in the bottle is determined by the number of barrels in the series, and every bottle also contains some much older wine than is stated. Sherry is aged in the Solera for a minimum of two years. A large Solera system may consist of scales that require more than one barrel to hold. The word solera means on the ground, this refers to the stacking system that was, and sometimes still is, used, with the youngest barrels at the top and the oldest scale, also somewhat ambiguously called the solera, at the bottom. Of late, sherry producers and marketers have been bottling their wines en rama, with only a light filtration, and often a selection of a favored barrel from a larger solera. Such sherries can be considerably more complex in flavor than the standard bottlings, and, according to many, are worth seeking out. In order to allow the sale of reliable average age dated sherries, the regulating council has set up a system that accurately tracks the average age of the wines as they move through their solera. 
Two average age dated categories are recognized: VOS, Venum Optimum Signatum, 20 years old average age minimum, and VORs, Venum Optimum Rare Signatum, 30 years old average age minimum. Sherry seasoned casks are sold to the Scotch whisky industry for use in aging whisky. Other spirits and beverages may also be aged in used sherry casks. Contrary to what most people think, these sherry seasoned casks are specifically prepared for the whiskey industry, they are not the same as the old and largely inactive butts used for the maturation of sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Storing and drinking Once bottled, sherry does not generally benefit from further aging and may be consumed immediately, though the sherries that have been aged oxidatively may be stored for years without noticeable loss in flavor. Bottles should be stored upright to minimize the wine's exposed surface area. As with other wines, sherry should be stored in a cool, dark place. The best fino sherries, aged for longer than normal before bottling, such as Manzanilla Passata, will continue to develop in the bottle for some years. Fino and Manzanilla are the most fragile types of sherry and should usually be drunk soon after opening in the same way as unfortified wines. In Spain, finos are often sold in half bottles, with any remaining wine being thrown out if it is not drunk the same day it is opened. Amontillados and Olorosos will keep for longer, while sweeter versions such as PX, and blended cream sherries, are able to last several weeks or even months after opening, since the sugar content acts as a preservative. Sherry is traditionally drunk from a copita also referred to as a catavino, a special tulip-shaped sherry glass. Sampling wine directly from a sherry butt may be performed with characteristic flourish by a venenciador, named after the special cup the venencia, traditionally made of silver and fastened to a long whale whisker handle. The cup, narrow enough to pass through the bung hole, withdraws a measure of sherry which is then ceremoniously poured from head height into a copita held in the other hand. Various types are often mixed with lemonade and usually ice. This long drink is now called rebujito. Its typically ice-free equivalent in the Victorian age was the sherry cobbler. In popular culture Many literary figures have written about sherry, including William Shakespeare, Benito Pérez Galdós, and Edgar Allan Poe in his story, The Cask of Amontillado. Indian cricketer and politician Navjot Singh Sidhu's nickname is Sherry, given to him by his father. Early in the film Diamonds Are Forever, James Bond samples a glass of sherry and, despite M's protest that sherry has no vintage year, he correctly guesses the vintage of the base wine, 1851. Unmistakable. Frasier and Niles, the brothers Crane, frequently consume sherry on the TV sitcom Frasier. Sherry, and Amontillado specifically, is heavily featured in Season 3, Episode 10 of Monty Python's Flying Circus. Sherry is frequently mentioned in the novel Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, and plays an important role in the narrative. The spy Jim Prado is alerted to the presence of a double agent within his division when Russian KGB agents are able to correctly identify the brand of sherry that was consumed during a secret meeting of MI6 personnel. In Arietti, bottles of wine can be seen in Aunt Jessica's pantry. When Hara cries out that she's found the little people, Aunt Jessica asks her. Are you sure you didn't find the sherry again? In the Disney film adaptation of Mary Poppins, when he returns home from work, Mr. Banks states in the song, The Life I Led, that his slippers, sherry, and pipe are due at 6.02. In the Disney film The Aristocats, Abigail and Amelia's drunken uncle Waldo insists that if he is ever to be cooked, it must be with sherry and not with white wine. In One Piece film, Z, Zephyr's favorite drink is sherry, of which he drinks a bottle prior to his last fight with Luffy. In the BBC series House of Cards, Prime Minister Francis Urquhart mentions that the sherry is one of the highlights of the visits he makes to Buckingham Palace. He is alarmed by rumors that the palace has switched to serving tea. In the Tales of the City series of books, one of the main characters, Anna Madrigal, often offers sherry to her house guests. Related products Brandy de Jerez Sherry vinegar See also Cooking sherry 
Rabanero Bodeguero Andalus Harvey's Bristol Cream Osborne Bull The Cask of Amontillado